Yeah. See, I can take pictures of me too. Hello. Hi, Bill. How are you? Oh, man, Pete. Brutal. You made it. How are you? Well, actually, maybe you should run the camera for this part because this part is very hush-hush. Uh, you know, there was an altercation last night. It's the only chance that we're all together and we can... It's just down the street. So would you call Jackie? I'll give you the number. Hello, Jackie? Uh, well, uh, I just got here myself and uh, he's making dinner as... And... Swedish meatballs. He's making Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Let, let me let me let me get on the phone. Oh, oh, okay. Jackie, it's got a Oh. Anyway, you haven't seen Jamie today, have you? He didn't make it. Happy birthday, well, hello. Thank you. Happy birthday to you, too. <laughs> We've been invited to go see a friend's holography studio down the street. Okay. And I thought if I just let this stuff uh, simmer until we get back, it'll be idea. all right. But uh, I have to call him Rudy. Hi, Elmer. How are you now, sir? Okay. What are you shooting here? Uh, Gary's birthday party. How nice. Elmer, do you want something to drink? Some uh, Pepsi or some orange juice? A yes, beer? That, that sounds great. I did that. It turned out, yeah. It really turned out. Yeah, it turned out well. You should take over two see. weeks. Show it to Minette. To Minette, yeah. I think you're going to like it. Anyway, Rudy is in this issue of the National Geographic. There's a hologram on the cover. And his, uh, his work is in here. First hologram ever reproduced on a magazine. So we're gonna have an educational field trip. You know, Manette, she looks so good. She looks good. And there's, there's the queen bitch. Here, Nelson. Oh, thank you. Well, City Opera's exciting new production of these A's Carmen premieres Friday. I guess we may as well go. Okay. You bringing the animals with? No. Oh, they think they're going out. They always think they're going out. Get in here. I'm sure. Beautiful day today, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a great day. If we lost my wallet, I would have found it a lot better. Homer lost his wallet. And, uh, however, it wasn't on my end worried about it, just my own time checking it. Good way. Thank you. What's he doing to you, Mario? He's doing it to you. Why is he doing it to me? <laughs> Good light out here now. Elmer says the light is good out here. What? Elmer says the light is good. Is it good? You're well, back to it what were you doing? Just making conversation? Yeah. Well, let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. We don't have film to waste. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. only got about four hours on this tape. How many? How long is it on the fast? Which way we go now? Well, Nelson, thank you so much. It's awfully nice of you to bring the camera, you know. Watch it. Oh, hell. I guess it's gone anyway.
How far is it? It's just halfway down the block. It's on this side. Oh, oh, what a night I had last night. What'd you do? I'd rather not say. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's no way to usher in a new year. I just bought a new fan. No, I'm getting it for you. Oh, but I don't think they would be sitting out here if it were. I've found many outside of here. At this time of year? Sure. Oh, it's all right. I don't really... I'll buy a fan if I want one. With what, Gary? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> with uh, with Morgan's presence, the present he's giving me today. He's giving me that $50 bond that he bought. I guess I'm dreaming. Let's see, it's one of these. Oh, it's up there. One of where? It's, the, it's that. Hello. Oh, take the girl's picture. She wants to be in the picture. She comes into the store all the time. Ellie, are you good to react to Oh, she <laughs> didn't think that stuff <laughs> right. Oh, well. Now we have... And it was very She's real. Crying. I know. Gary, you're so insensitive. <laughs> what? <laughs> the child is crying. <laughs> She's crying? It's just like oh. Gary. Oh, I didn't know she was having that's, an intimate that's moment. That's really over there. It used to belong to Victor Herbert. Which one? This one there, yeah. This big plain brown one? Yeah, it had marvelous brass stairways inside. Which one? That one, one? Yeah, right. That one was like a, a dumpy building. It was like lots of different apartments. This big plain brown one? I think this one. What was... about the one next door? That's a beautiful townhouse. No, this one door. has a marvelous French brassware inside. Really? And a gorgeous they got it. Type back. It was closed up for years. Yeah. It was closed up for like 10 years when I moved in. That one? No kidding. I'm almost sure that was a Victor Herbert house. But it, I don't think it was a single family house at one time. It was like three. Yeah, but originally it was a single family house and then they made it into three. Really? I believe. And I may be mistaken. Probably. Big, I mean, the one next door is so much nicer. Yeah, right. But it's much older. This one? This is it. This is where Rudy is. Right here. I don't know. <laughs> Elmer. What? Come on, Elmer. We're here. Okay. Oh, were you going to ask them? Uh, yeah, I was going to ask them across the street if this was a Victor Herbert house. Oh, miss? Is this the old Victor Herbert house? I don't think so. You have some very fancy brass. The Napoleonic looking brass inside, the pyramids and things on it. Yeah. Yes, you know. But I'm almost, does it have a big backyard? Yeah. And in the back it looks like New Orleans. Yeah. I sold the house about 25 years ago, and it was a real elegant place. Yeah. What? What about the back of the house? It has the yard, and, and on each side they have some new orleans type documents? Yeah. And I'm not going to say. Yeah. I'm Watch mistaken. out, Elmer. <laughs> Again. Again. I'm not in front of them. That's not it, huh? They don't know. Uh, well, I think they would know because that would be a big selling point. Yeah, but they may have taken all the good stuff out. Yeah, they had the most stuff. beautiful brassware in there. There was two buildings, though. Or three, yeah. Yeah. Well, he was well a great, Rudy is expecting us. And we're he was late, a very so big man. Go. You know what happened to houses? This must have been street level when they built these streets up. This house? Oh, I don't know. All of them were. Uh, Hi. 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 Hi.
got a beautiful view over there. You've got a great view. It's very interesting. Rudy, do you know of any adventure from the future? I don't know. I'm almost sure from this block. The Northern French Empire inside. Let's go in. <laughs> I'll follow you. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. How are you tonight? Fine. Good. Good. Oh, wow. What a nice space. Uh, oh, you remind us to know where. Yeah, I was just about to clean my paintbrushes. Uh huh. Well, I'm sorry we got detained. Uh, we thought we saw Victor Herbert's house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you record it? Um, yeah, I have some. Oh, these are beautiful, really. You like those? Mm -hmm. I thought you would. Just shut it off now and relax a little bit. Up against the wall. Excuse me. Against the wall. Let's see, do we have enough chairs? We need one more chair. How about the big one, the queen chair? Four chair. No, we have five. We need, oh, there's only four of us? Yeah. Let's we'll spill three. somewhere We're else. Looking in the mirror. Looks like there's more. All right, that's fine. So, uh, here you go, Elmer. You can Thank sit you. here. And uh, there's more to drink over there. Oh, 
Well, Nelson, you can start now if you like, really, and eat, and uh, maybe we'll, we can make an audio tape of the dinner conversation. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. No, Nelson, I want you to put down the camera now and eat. I'm serious. That's my wish, my birthday wish. Well, you were saying I was a so. No, you were saying that I was a star. Well, then maybe it was my own paranoia, but I thought you said something, and it sounded like you said you said. Why would snob. I think I would do a snob? Because I, I didn't say hello to you as I passed, and you didn't say hello to me. You want to see the height of bad? You want to see the height of bad manners? Yeah. No. Uh, I saw a cat once have kittens in the mashed potatoes. Kittens in the mashed potatoes. Yeah. What do you mean? She leaped up onto the table. It's right, and a kitten's right in a bowl of mashed potatoes. And it was a hot night, and the windows were all closed, and when that wouldn't turn on a fan. Did he have a fan on? I don't know. He handed me a paper fan. That's right. He said, do you want a fan? And he went into the other room, and Elmer said, oh, great. And I knew he was going to bring back a manual fan. You know, Elmer thought he was bringing back an electric fan yeah. that was going to do some work for him, mm -hmm. you know. Minette comes back with a little paper fan from Japan. I'm talking to my mom again. Oh, yeah, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm doing the ice cream bit. Boy, am I. Yeah. How many hours? Oh, only six. Well, fortunately, I don't have to be there until noon. It's the greatest, it's the easiest job I've had in years, but I don't make any money. You know? Well, it leaves me mornings to f go look for something else or uh, do something else if I want. It leaves me a lot of time to be, uh, I'm trying to write a new play, you know, and I haven't even typed the last one. So, um, but I've been doing a lot of drawing and um, some, some video. <clears throat> no, I won't go near the mafia. I told you what was happening with the 20th Century Fox and everything, right? In the letter? <laughs> Nothing. That's, that's, yeah, well. I mean, they've got what I want, but I'm not going to beg them for it, you know? How did you get in here? Somebody pushed me. Well, darling, we are going to the hospital. I just wanted you to sign my record, that's all. You've got it in your hand. This here the thing is yours? Why, well, this one's an oldie. My mama gave it to me. I'd be so proud if you might put your signature on it. Well, you can have it, honey, but I, I surely don't know what good it's going to do you. Now, who shall I make it up to? To Sherry. Sherry? Well, that's what I've been drinking all night. Oh, honey, gee, come back to me. I've been so lonely without you. Cause you took my heart and you stopped that sucker flat. Now they know who I am. Next time I have a reading, uh, maybe they'll be a little more serious in their overtures, you know? Maybe I'll get some, someone a little more well-known, you know, to come. What? Yeah, well, you know, I don't have an agent. It's just me out there. You know, it's just me. I don't have an agent, and I get nervous talking to these people when, you know, there's money involved. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen anybody step up who seemed like they knew what they were doing, saying they wanted to be my agent. And I certainly have asked enough of them to look at my stuff. And uh, so it's just me, you know, and... Uh, so if, if they don't respect me, if they don't treat me with respect, I'll get somebody else to produce it. Do it myself, like I always do. Okay, thanks for calling. And I hope you have a happy anniversary, too. Okay? All right. I'll see you then. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Thank you very Charles Mayor Carp. He was in... Uh, Another play that I stage managed. Carp uh, like the fish. Leonard Mel Melfi. Um, carp like um, no K. Yeah, K. like the fish. The German spelling. Mayor Carp. Yeah. And Charles is uh, so, oh, so talented. He choreographed all the dances for the show, and he 
he got those people who weren't dancers, a lot of them, to move like they were fish, you know. Mayor, like Mayor Koch? No, like Mayor Metro Goldwyn Mayor. Actually, I think someone in his family was one of the mayors of the Goldwyn Mayor Studio. What play of coffee did you work with? It was called Ah Wine, and it was about uh, a cocktail party where everybody gets smashed, and there was this feud going on between two brothers at the party, and one eventually murders the other. And uh, it was an interesting play. I didn't like it at the time, but it was, uh, and you know who came to see it was uh, Harold Arlen, the composer came. And uh, he was a friend of uh, Leonard's. And Leonard used to go into Phoebe's and pick up these girls before the show and then come to the box office and say, these, these two ladies are with me. <laughs> That's a possession. Here comes the cake. Oh, oh look, Elmer's oh. got the cake. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday oh. to oh. you. Oh. Happy oh. birthday. Oh, but Gary, wish for my health and happiness and future wealth, but you know. Oh, that too. The important thing. Our wealth together and happiness. And oh, Gary. Yes, the tape's off. Very. Oh, Gary. Oh, 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 I don't know how you did it. <laughs> Elmer, she died deserted in some hotel room watching reruns of Tron on the 4 o'clock movie. They had died, Pepsi, then. Really? Sure. She was watching a rerun of one of her films when she died. Yeah. It's what killed her. Trog, her last film. Oh, oh I thought you said Trog. No, I Trog. I saw Trog. I saw part of it. Well, wouldn't time. you die if you saw that on the 4 o'clock film and you were Joan Crawford? It wasn't as bad as Mae West's last picture. Oh, Mae's was a masterpiece. Well. Compared to Trog. Do mm, you think so? Did you see Sex Ted Elmer? No. Oh, you should. Mm. It's really frightening. It's really scary. <laughs> it is. She uses lines that were old in 1930 and waits for you to laugh. You know, she pauses after her jokes like uh, they were old in 1935 and she gives you a little pause. So, you know. I remember her, is it her fashion show and um, her hands, her hands with the long fingernails turning the cassette recorder off and on. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's terrifying, and, really. Um, and, yes, yeah, she has a cassette. Her other movies are so Victorian, and in this one she has cassette recorders and Muscle Man and... George Hamilton. And Ringo Starr. Mm -hmm. Is Ringo in it? I forgot that. Peter Sellers, I think. Oh. And her but dressing, they would. In her dressing room, she had a nude statue of herself. Yeah. How do you know when it's on? Both lights are going. The record light is on, it's red. The oh. red WB should be on, and then record, I guess. It's green. It's green. Uh huh. I thought you had used this camera before. Once, on the, the first time I had it out on the Gay Day uh -huh. Parade. Yeah. I ran oh, into you and then? Gary. You know. uh -huh. Gary, was, Gary held it, and some guy walked between us, you know, and almost broke the umbilical cord. Oh, yeah. Oops, I thought I was reaching for the uh, lens. It's great for a record, you know. Not so much of what people say, but, you know, the manner of people speaking. Like, you know, a hundred years from now, we can look back at these films of you, Elmer, and say, that's right, he sounded just like that. That's the way he talked. There's actually voice in it? Yeah, it's stereo. I didn't know that. Say something. Say something to the camera. Hello, camera. Is that oh, a way to treat anyone? My mother was very romantic. Except for my name, she gave me the name Elmer. <laughs> I'd call that Excuse gothic. I call it grotesque. Grotesque, no. Elmer, Elmer's a beautiful name. You know what it means? It means noble and famous. Famous Anglo-Saxon. Did they take it from the tree? What? From the elm tree? No. I always thought it meant stuttering pig. <laughs> no, look up in the dictionary. 
has been stuttering through. So what do you, what do you think it means? It means noble and famous. Noble and famous? Noble and famous, right. And the way you say it in Hungarian is Elimar. So may I excuse me, Elimar. Elimar, the girls are out very late this year in Paris. They don't, they don't name people with like that anymore, do they? People like Elmer? What do you mean? And Nelson, Morgan, the, all the great names, Gaga, they're all taken. Thank you.